girl Jade and thank you for coming back and if this is your first time on this channel, welcome. Today guys, I want to practice what I preach, yes. <laughs> if you remember my last video, I encouraged people to do things with their hands and in that video, I hinted that I would come back as soon as possible with something that has to do with cooking. People who know me, my friends and my family, they know that my love, my passion for cooking is beyond description. I communicate through food, I give food to everyone around me. I love to cook, I don't eat so much, you might be wondering. Naturally, I'm not a foodie, but I love to cook. When it comes to cooking, it's almost like something that brings joy, so much joy to my heart. When I cook, I consider the health of everyone who is going to share in that food. Sometimes I create my own recipes from the scratch. Some other times I learn from others. And there's always room for improvement. So today I want to cook something that is really, really simple. It's easy, especially for people who are busy, for students busy moms and men sometimes it's a pasta dish pasta is a very popular food with the americans with the english africans people from the caribbean the chinese all over the world and of course italians it's easy to make you have your spaghetti you have your macaroni you have your penny and so many others and pasta can be dry or fresh or well, my preference would always be dry pasta. So today I am going to use spaghetti. Spaghetti in olive oil with garlic and parsley leaves. So I'm going to quickly show you some of the ingredients that I have today. So this is your spaghetti. I usually buy this from any store. This is your onions. I prefer the onions very chunky for this food just so it will add to the beauty. For me, Food is not just taste, I love it when it looks beautiful. Another ingredient is your garlic. You can see that I have a lot of garlic. This is because garlic is your base for this meal. So you need to patiently cut a lot of it. You don't need to blend your garlic for this food. Most people are not keen on garlic because they believe garlic smells. But garlic is good for you, it's medicinal, it's antibiotics. It's good for blood pressure, people who have high blood pressure. So garlic has a million and one health benefits. Myself, I always look beyond those minor concerns because I know how good it is for me. So if you haven't joined the club yet, I think you should change your perception about garlic and give it a go. Now, the next ingredient is your red pepper. In this plate, I have a combination of your red, sweet red pepper, which is not spicy, it's not hot. And if you can see, the one with seed by the side is actually your scotch bonnet, which is the hot pepper. Now this is optional, depending on your preference. I love my food when it's a little bit hot, not too much. You don't want your food to be too spicy, otherwise it becomes too overpowering. Remember that food is about communication. You need all the ingredients to agree and work together. That way you bring out the perfect taste. Next to this, you have your olive oil. This is another base. You need a lot of olive oil for this food. Not so much. I would normally not recommend too much oil when you cook, but this, you will see the quantity I'm going to use. You need a significant portion of olive oil just so the garlic would have enough oil to infuse and bring out the whole taste you need your ginger again you can do without this for me it is optional but i love to use it food is individual you cook the way you want it as far as you achieve your objective now a very key ingredient again is your parsley this is dry parsley you can use fresh ones on a good day i prefer my my parsley is fresh this is a good alternative it will achieve the same objective and now your salt which is again optional and of course you know i am nigerian we love our food really really tasty this is maggie stock maggie cube it's the original maggie 
there are no chicken, there are maggi chicken, but for this food, what I want to achieve, I prefer to use the original stock. This is my tea. <laughs> Just ignore this one. You need to start with boiling water. You don't want to make your pasta with cold water. You just want to put it in the pot and then you get cooking. You put your pasta in the pot. I don't break them up. Some people, they might prefer to break them, especially people with young children. So initially you will be outstanding. That's fine. What you do is gradually nudge them, nudge it down, and just allow it to gradually collapse in the pot. So you grab a fork and just guide the spaghetti gradually and be careful not to break it unless you prefer it broken. And so I don't want it to be soft, I want to chew them but also, that's not to say you have to have it hard. I have boiled my pasta. This is an empty pot. You want to start by heating up your pot. One very important thing to note about olive oil, it doesn't stand heat. It's not meant to sustain heat. Most people fry with olive oil, it is wrong. You're losing out on all the health benefits. So with your olive oil, you put it in the pot and you get going with your cooking. So I have boiled and washed my pasta. One thing I love to do after washing it is to add a squint of olive oil on top of the pasta. What this does is just keep it single and not meshed together. You can see. So now you bring your pot which is already heating. So I'm going to add like I said a reasonable portion, not so much. You don't want too much oil in your food when you cook. But for this dish, you want a reasonable portion. I don't know how much you can see. Just enough to allow the, I think I probably need a little bit more. So that's it for your oil. Immediately, you go in with your garlic. Um, You go in with your garlic. I told you this is the meal you can make in 30 minutes. So I'll get my wooden stick. I normally cook on low heat, but because of time, the recording time, I'll increase the temperature of the heat. So what you do now is basically just stir and mix, really. Just stir and mix. You need the garlic and the onion to infuse together in the olive oil. It brings out the flavor. You don't want to allow it to burn, but you want it to be brown. So you have to just stir as you go. You can easily tell when it's red. Our garlic is beginning to brown. At this point, the next thing is to add your pepper. Because we have a combination of the red pepper and your hot pepper, you want to put them there just so you have the opportunity to blend very well with the food. I don't like to add pepper when the food is ready because it just sits on top and you have that fresh taste. That's not very good because it doesn't get to mix very well with the rest of the ingredients. Remember our ginger? This comes in next. This is completely optional. You don't have to if you're not a fan. But I just love them. So at this point, at this point, this is what you have. There are so many things I can do with this base. I can show you. Obviously, your next is your money stock. Sometimes I use half. Some other times I use the whole key, depending on the portion of what you're making. So that's it really guys. I will reduce the heat at this point. And the next thing to go in is your, your spaghetti. You want to swap the wooden stick with your fork and reduce your heat. 
because you don't want it to be dried up. If you notice, we haven't put any water. You can add a little bit of water, it's completely optional, but you don't necessarily need to. At this point, what you do really is to stir and mix. Stir and mix. You probably might want to add a little bit of salt to taste. Again, that is completely optional. Some people want their food bland. Some others, it has to be tasty. I'll probably have to move this away from the heat or actually turn the heat off at this point because the food is done, really. I told you, it only takes about 30 minutes. Anybody can make this food, really. So I've just added a pinch of salt, if you notice. Notice that one thing is outstanding, our parsley. You don't add your parsley at this point. You serve with your parsley. So I'm going to have a quick taste just to make sure I don't need to add more salt. I will show you a clearer picture of what it looks like. Mmm. <laughs> Guys, you probably think I'll be too generous because it's my food. Obviously. But this is lovely. Mmm. This is beautiful. Try it at home. And leave your comment. But hold on. We haven't finished. I'll dish the food and I will show you what it looks like. Now, remember not to eat so much of the pasta. Guys, it can be very tempting when the food is this delicious, but please remember this is a carbohydrate based food. Don't eat so much. So, I will show you what the final picture is, but before then, let's add our parsley so what you do is just this and your food is done this is elegant <laughs> this is so beautiful guys i'm gonna zoom in on this food for you to see That's it for me everyone. Thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed this. Please consider subscribing if you haven't and share with your friends. And I will see you in my next video. Bye now.